Hey everybody, welcome back to Sweet Mess Pastry Competition. I'm about to continue with a run through I've already started and did a lot of work in, and there's a lot that's already happened, folks. So if you want to see how we got to where we are, or just get an understanding for the basic mechanisms of the game, you'll want to hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the links down in the show notes to go to the main run through. But if you already got the basics down, then welcome back to the kitchen, folks. And you may notice some things have changed. I have, oops, one thing I forgot to do. I have opened up the side bench, forgot to do that. Alrighty, there we go. We've replaced Jen as my opponent with the uh, Chefatron, um, who is a very, very uh, dirty pa uh, pastry chef who will do all kinds of nasty stuff while also doing all the stuff uh, normal players do. And you'll notice, hey, I, my little green hand, because I'm the green player, is out here on the board. So things are going to work a little bit differently, because I'm showing both how the solo mode works and how the alternate modules work. And don't worry, folks, if you don't care about solo, um, you're still going to... I mean, the the um, the Chefatron pretty much does everything a normal human player does. Uh, just really, just uh, it uses a deck of cards to make the decisions for them. So, okay, let's continue. So, first of all, Chefatron is always first. I was first originally, but I am no longer first. Chefatron is now first. And they are are going to draw the first card from their deck, and this says a few things. First of all, it says, you'll notice, Chefatron has a couple of arms that start out pointing towards wherever the special, the special ingredient dish was. And this says, hey, pick one of the arms and move them two spaces in the direction it wants to go. So, if we look a bit more closely at the board, this is the uh, that one that wants to go up, and it says, hey, move two steps. So it goes one, two, and the arm is now facing this row. Right. Then the uh, Chefatron takes the best plate they can. And if there's a case where there are multiple plates that are equally good, and they are, you can see, hey, there's three here and three here. How do they choose? Whichever one is closest to the arm. The arm is lazy, doesn't want to reach farther. So they're just going to snag all of this stuff. And they go on ahead and store it. And the Chefatron does not have the same restrictions of us. They've got a super automated uh, uh, workbench where they can just, you know, they, they can get any number of things. Although, interestingly, once they've got three of a given type of ingredient, if they were to get a fourth instead, they just start getting wilds. Uh, but anyway, so Chefatron has grabbed some stuff. As you saw in the main run through, that's what human players do a lot because Chefatron needs to get ingredients to be able to make uh, stuff as well. By the way, I just Chefatron is picking up for Jen, which means Jen had already made both of these. Um, but remember, Jen had some tools. Chefatron never catches tools. Chefatron, anytime Chefatron get, does an action that they can't do, like collect tools because they don't care about tools because they are a tool, uh, they just get coins, and coins are worth a point to them. So that's why Chefatron's got a bunch of coins. They never use these coins for multiple actions like a human player would. They're just points for them. So anyway, so first of all, Chefatron moved and grabbed some stuff. And as always, made a mess. So some chocolate has spilled. This is full, but a chocolate goes there, a chocolate goes there, and that is full. All right. So then, um, Chefatron tries to do some other stuff. Um, if you're playing on normal difficulty, Chefatron will always do whatever the white action is. If you're playing on hard difficulty, they'll do the white action and the pink, or is maybe that mauve action. So I'm playing on hard, just so you can see more stuff. Chefatron's going to do both of these things. And the first is something that players cannot do. Chefatron is going to use its big old robot arm and steal from me. If I have any um, wild resources, and I do, Chefatron steals it. If I didn't have one, Chefatron Chefatron will get a coin, because anytime Chefatron is denied, they get a coin. So, again, the um, multiplayer game is total live and let live, but Chefatron is a dirty so-and-so. Just stole one of my wilds. And then, uh, as a bonus, Chefatron is going to try and make one of the high-level dishes, if they can. If they can't, they'll try to make, because you can see there's the green. If they can't, they'll try to make one of the low-level dishes. And if they can't, if they can't do what they want to do, you guessed it. They'll get another coin. So, um, right, is, can Chefatron make... Uh, Chefatron's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So all the high-level dishes require seven. Can't make any of those, but can they do any of the lower ones? Chefatron doesn't have wild powers or anything like that. Um, does not have two chocolate. Does not have three chocolate. Ha oh, no, it does have two chocolates. It's got a wild. Has two. Oh, but then doesn't have the candy. So can't do that one. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. Can't do any of them. So Chef John can't make anything right now. So they just get another coin because they're frustrated. So they go get a, a night job and and, I don't know, flip burgers at McDonald's on the side, I guess. So anyway, so that was it for Chefatron. They're very simple. They draw a card, they grab some stuff, and then they try to do some additional stuff. Okay, um, my turn. And 
You may be wondering, what's this hand all about? Well, this is a way to increase the challenge of the game by restricting players. If I were still playing with Jen, she'd have a hand on the board, I'd have a hand on the board. And on your turn, when you are going to try and make a mess and get more stuff, you first can move your hand one or two steps orthogonally, north, south, east, or west. So if I wanted to get these, I'd have to move over here. And then from here, I'd have access to this, 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 or this um, uh, areas of leftovers. But... From where I am down here, because the last thing I did was I came here, so let's say, I'm just saying this is where I was from the last turn, I cannot take from this plate, or this plate, or um, that plate, right? Because if I move over, if I want to get to this plate, it would take me a couple of turns to get over here, to get to that plate. So, where am I going to go? Uh, remember, I can move up to two steps in any direction, staying within these inner intersections. Well, you know what? I just had my um, I just had my freaking wild card stolen. I want to get some more wild cards. So how about I move? Although if I come over here, I can get a nice bit of variety. Or if I come up here, I can get three. But if I just come to either of these spots, I can get two. But one of them is no, no. There's no wild there. This all right? Or I could just come here and then um, you know stay there. The only thing I can't do is I can't stand still. I always have to move one or two. So do I want to get a triple? Because if I move here, I could get either of these triples, or I could get that triple, or do I want to get one of these? Let's see what I've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And um, remember, at the very least, you want to have like 10 things when you bake so that you can maybe make two things at once. Although remember, my goal was to make this thing. Because then I'd have three pies and I could earn an award. So that is still my best option. I want to make that more than anything else, which means I need four crust. I have two crust. So how, what's my best way to get crusty crust crust? There's a single crust over here. There's a single crust over there. What do I need? I need a crust, I need a pear, and I need a cream. And the interesting thing is I've got so much candy. So much candy. So if I just come up here and get more candy, I'd have enough to make this. No, because I'd have the candy and then I'd have to have something else there. All right. Oh, but I need cream as well. I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to move. I moved one space. Now, this gives me access to any of these. Or if I was going to try and take from the sideboard, I could take from this sideboard or this sideboard. I'm just going to take from here, which means I'm going to spill cream everywhere. Oh, it's so sloppy here in the sweet, sweet mess. And they also spilled onto the sideboards. And then this flips. And now I've got to store this stuff. This cream's got to go in unique. This could go wherever. I'll just uh, say it's another piece of candy. Or what the heck, I'll say it's another piece of gelatin. Fine. And remember, I've got a third crust and I've got a third gelatin there. Okay, so that was that. I have no coins, so I can't do anything else, right? I have no tools, so I can't trash a tool to reserve something in case I want to. So I'm done with everything. My turn is over. I'm just starting to, to refill. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot, folks. By the way, when I, was, when I did have coins, they're supposed to be stored in this little area. Because you can only have nine coins, and nine coins are what fits in this little area. I totally forgot about that. Anyway, back to Robotron, or uh, uh, Chefabot, the Chefabot, Chefabot 3000. Chefabot says, hey, this arm, move one step. They're going to come over here, and wow, it's like they knew what I wanted to do. They want the best thing, and so these are both good, and in the lieu, they'll take the closer one. So they grab all of this, boom, boom. Boom. And I just gave that to them. They flip this and spill chocolate everywhere. Well, there's not much to spill because these spaces are all full. You can have up to four things on a plate, only one thing on each sideboard. So they spill some chocolate. And now, what do they want to do? Remember, they always do the white thing. If you're playing on hard, they'll do the pink thing too. <laughs> Actually, it's the exact opposite of that. On normal, they'll always do the pink thing. And if you're playing on hard, they'll then do the white thing. So I basically do this backwards. But it, for the most part, doesn't make a difference. But just FYI. So the white thing says, hey, I want to make a uh, one of these if I can. And I'm pretty sure they can. They've got enough stuff. So, um, right, they've got two chocolate. They don't want to use their wild unless they have to. So two chocolate and two gelatin and a candy. Yeah, they can totally do that one. Two chocolate. Um, this one would require a wild. They don't want to use the wild if they can't. So this one doesn't require their wild. So they're going to do this one. Now, if there are multiple that they can do, they don't want to use that gelatin if they can avoid it. And the other tie break, if there were still multiples that they could do is, which arm was it? It was this arm that activated. So the left arm activated, which means they'll take from the left. So this is the one they're going to do. And they don't put it on a conveyor belt that takes a while. They just make stuff instantly. So, this requires two chocolate, two a pear, and one candy. So, just like that, they, you know, um, Jen, the, uh, 
Chefatron has now made her third um, uh, delectable, and unfortunately for her, she has made um, you know one, two, three of different stuff. So that's not helping her because she needs to either have two that match or three that match. All right, so she did that, so she's not going to get a coin. Uh, and now here's the other thing: um, if she can. She wants to deploy the force field. Okay, so, uh, and she can. And so, again, since this was the left arm, the left arm is going to deploy the force field. And the rules say the force field gets deployed towards the best plate. So this plate just got a force field on it, uh, going from the left. Um, and so what that means is neither I nor Chefatron can touch this plate. Things will not spill onto this plate. People can't take stuff off this plate. There is a force field because suddenly we become a sci-fi futuristic um, with a robotic maniac. All right, so anyway, they put this down. This blocks everything until another one of these cards comes up that says, hey, move the force field someplace else. So that was it for Chefatron. But they're at the end of their turn. So, can they make an award? But there is a trick to this, folks. Uh, there is a reminder on our awards trophies. And, and Chef, by the way, Jen had one of her award uh, shelf as well, but now we're using Chefatron's. On both of ours, there's a reminder that whenever you're trying to get awards, you can give up two, you can use two of your... Um, completed dishes as a as any type you want. And if Chefatron can, Chefatron will. So Chefatron has three completely unique things, but they need either two of a kind or three of a kind. So they're going to pick two of their three things to um, make an award. And uh, right now, all awards are equally good. They could get any award they want. They would always take the best one they can. But since they're equally good, they're going to go from the left because it was the left arm. So that means they want this award, the leftmost one, which means they're going to set this aside. They're going to turn both, use both of these as a pie and then combine it with this pie. And that means they've done a double pie, which means they get to put on their futuristic um, shelf a... 10 point pie award plus they get three bonus points so they just scored 13 points for the first of three awards now if i had done this successfully although i've only made one thing so far uh, i need to make some more stuff but if i had made this i would put this over here and instead of an additional three points i would get to pick any of these bonuses i'd get a golden coin and i could bottle another good or i could get a tool or i could take from a sideboard or you know a, a leftovers or i could get a coin and a uh, special ingredient that's what happens when I earn awards. But they earn the award. Now, they cannot earn this pie award on the other side. It has to be something else here. So that's something they'll keep in mind. In the meantime, we just keep these completed face down to indicate those were award-winning dishes that scored them 13 points. Yikes. Okay. Now, there is one other thing that happens. Oh, shoot. I've been forgetting. Hold on a second. Folks, always watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on because Paulo might have pointed out there's a new step that happens at the end of the turn as well. So let's take a closer look at them because I should have been evaluating this both at the end of my turns and Chefatron's turns. Two of these show ingredients. One of these shows a reward. And what this means is at the end of any player's turn, if they've got all four of these ingredients in their bench, they get the award. Although Chefatron's a little bit easier for them, they just need these two ingredients. Now, Chefatron has not had a cherry. So Chefatron did not do it on their first turn of, of this extended playthrough or the second one. But me, at the end of my turn, did I do it? No. Because I have no cherries. So we would need... I mean, so cherries have suddenly become a much more important thing to um, grab because two cherries and a gelatin and a crust means, hey, you get an extra coin. So I came over here and didn't grab the cherries when I should have been grabbing the cherries. No! Well, I won't make that mistake again. Anyway, so anyway, so we keep checking this in the end of the turn. Chefatron just had a turn, didn't grab them. It's my turn again. I've got the hand, and now I say the hand comes over here, and I want to grab some cherries. But can I store all this stuff? See, I've got a problem. I could take up to three things here. But I can only store one cherry, and I need two cherries to do that. Ugh! Which means I need to clear this stuff out. Now, here's the thing. At the end of your turn, if you want to, you never want to do this, but you can say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of these things because on my next turn, I'm hoping to get something else. But you're literally throwing ingredients away. So, okay, I need to be able to pick up cherries. I can't pick them up, which means I need to make something right now. Now, now, now. Oh, and by the way, this should have come out. Oh, and hey, folks. 
This is interesting. This is an event card. Now, the interesting thing is, both of these decks have a, uh, event cards just randomly shuffled throughout. I'm sad none of these happened in the main run-through, but it is kind of a problem with the two-player game and the solo game. I'll talk about that in the final thoughts. But anyway, there's a random chance every time a recipe is made that one of these comes up. And it's an event. Everybody benefits from it. And then uh, we go on... And then we just draw another card, which will be... There we go. And this gets discarded. So, this particular event is a pretty simple one. Every corner makes a mess. So, I don't know. There was an earthquake, and so the corners are... You know, anyway. So, two cream spill out of here. And then we have a cream up there. So, two... All right. So, cream spills. Starting from the north goes there, and then there, and then there. And then, oh, we are out of cream, which means we go to crust... So then a crust appears over there. Over here, candy spills out. Uh, nothing, nothing, candy, candy, nothing. And then over here, cherry. Oh, cherries spill out. That's good news because, hey, cherry, cherry, cherry bomb. Boom. And this force field means it was protected from the cherry explosion. So that's just a little quick event that kind of mixed things up. They generally tend to bring more stuff in to the game. There's a list right here. If you want to pause, you can just get a glance at what all the different potential events are. You can just pause and read that if you want to get an idea of what they might be. Because the thing is, in a two-player game or a solo game, things don't get made very quickly. And you don't often see... Right, I'm doing final thoughts. I'll save that for final thoughts. So anyway, okay, so that was our turn. It is my turn. And now, there's all these cherries here, but I still have the same problem. I can't store two cherries here. I can't store two cherries there. So if I come over there, I'm just wasting my time. But Chefatron could take this at any time. If Chefatron ends up on this row, this is the best thing. They'll take it. But so that means I've got to bake some stuff. I just need to bake some stuff now so I can get stuff out so I can pick up those cherries. So I'm going to come over here. And normally, see, remember, this is a race, folks. In a perfect world, I've got all the time in the world. I want to get everything ready so that I can do, like you saw Jen in the main run-through, do a double baking action at once. But I don't have time because there's a race and good opportunities. i got to grab when I can. So I'm just going to come over here. I can't do a double action. Oh, if I had a coin, I would do a double action, which means I'd get three more goods, store them, and then I'd have a really big, but I don't have time. I'm just going to bake, and it's probably going to be one thing because i got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten. 10, uh, 7 plus 4 is 11. I can't do... I could potentially do two little ones. But remember, I want to... Oh my gosh! The thing I'm baking? They did the 10-pointer! They, they, they took the one I wanted! All right, anyway. So all things being equal, I want to do this one because that would let me do a triple reward. But a double reward isn't bad. Triple awards... You, if, you do a, if you do a three of a kind award, you get however many... Uh, you, you, you get uh, five bonus points. For it. If you do a double reward, instead of bonus points, you get more goods that will help you out. So they're both good. And then this is a reminder hey, once um, three awards, that's triggering the end of the game. Alrighty. And you say, wait, what, what, what's that? It triggers the end of the game. What do you mean? Nope. See, it's a stopwatch. Uh, basically, whoever's the first player flips this over to say, hey, we've got one more round, basically. Arr, okay, so I need to make stuff. I would like to make two. So I can rush over here. And by the way, oh my gosh, this is everything. Grabbing this is everything I need to get that. So I, I want to clear out as much stuff as I can. So looking over here, I've got one, two, th I've got three gelatin. I have no cherries and I'd be using this as one of my gelatin. So that's no good. I can't do that one. Um, oh, but remember, this can use two cream. So I've got one, two, three cream, but then I have no chocolate. Oh, I have no chocolate. And I have no chocolate. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe I'm not going to make something, folks. This is bad timing. How could this be? I've got so much stuff. I've got two, I've got one, two, three, four crust. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I am going to make this one, which is the one I was thinking about originally. So this is what I'm going to make. This requires, I mean, I'm not reserving it, which means I'd have to pay later. I'm doing it as an action and making it now. So I need four crust. One, two. There's a wild. One, two, three, four. Because of my permanently bald crust, that is my four crust. And by the way, this per if I were doing a double bake action, these would apply towards both bakings. So they're very powerful to have. So there's my crust. I need two. I'll just take two candy. And then I need one cream. I have one cream. Okay. And I have made this. This is eight points. And now, 
Wherever I put it, I give myself a bonus. But here's the deal. If I put it here, I don't get a bonus. But at the end of my turn, it'll slide out. It will become available. And then I'll have three of these icons, and I can get an award. So if I was worried that they were about to do another one of these awards very quickly, because they get less valuable the more they're taken of a given type, I'd want to get this really quick. But I think I can wait. So, do I want to give myself a while? Do I want to give myself a coin? Do I want to give myself a tool? Do I want to give myself... Do I want a bottle and have a uh, bottled... Yeah, I'm just going to give myself a tool. But then this will take forever to come out before I can get my award. But, I mean, it's going to be... I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to bottle this, which is worth an implicit point, and now I've got three permanent things that can help me out in the future. Okay. So, that was my turn. I only did one instead of two, but now, if this doesn't get taken next turn, oh, it's going to be a big payday. So, I don't have any tools, so I can't reserve something. If I, I might if I could, just if no, no reason to get a coin or whatever. I, this slides one, and I don't get any awards. And uh, this should happen. And I also, it doesn't say it here, but I check. Hey, do I have all this? I clearly do not. Okay. Chefatron says, hi, I am up. I want to move my left arm one space, and it's going <gasps> to... Oh, phew. If it had moved two, it would have taken that, but it only moved one. It moved one. So they're coming here. They want the best thing they can get. This is off limits, so they'll take this. All right. And now they want to do two things. First of all, they want to bottle something up, and then they want to make something. So how do they choose what they're going to bottle? Um, it was the right arm. So of all the stuff they've got, they go from the left. Uh, they don't bottle this, so they're going to bottle up one of their crusts. Which, just like uh, me, helps them make things better. And it's just like me, it's worth a point to them to have a bottled up crust. Right, which one is it? That's the chocolate. That's the cherries. Oh, there it is. There's the crust. Okay, so there we go. So um, that was their main thing, and I'm playing on hard, so they want to do another thing too, which is make one of these basics, and if they can't, they're going to get a point. And remember, they've got now two crust, two cream, one chocolate, and a wild. So it's pretty easy to see. They do not have three chocolate. They do have two chocolate, but not two. They do not have... Or they could have three cream and one chocolate. Oh my gosh, they can. They're going to make this. They have one, two three cream with the wild they have one chocolate and um oh and they have anything they could spend their crust but they have one crust so they don't need to spend it so they just made a new thing and um that's six points to them and because they cannot get this bonus resource they get another coin okay and everything goes back so uh, Chefatron gets everything it wants. Okay, so back to me. I am up. I'm going to madcap rush over here, snag this. It is very handy, fortunate, because if I'd been over here, I would have had to take two turns to make it all the way over there to get to that. So anyway, so I'm grabbing all this. Cherries. Cherries everywhere. It's a, right, it's a cherry catastrophe. And then the cherry bowl flips. And now I've got to store all this stuff. Hey, that's a pear. And hey, that's a pear. And let's just keep my options open. So I store all that stuff. Next up, um, so that was it. Oh, wait, oh, and I had to come either here or here. I'll have come there. I'll have come there. All right, so I did that instead of getting a tool because I don't have any coins. I need coins. I'm about to get one, though, so I'm very excited about that. I don't have any tools, so I can't reserve stuff. Things move forward. I cannot complete an award, but hey, I've got two cherries and a gelatin, so I've got all that. So I just got one coin. So I can do double actions now. And then this flips over to become the next reward. And this comes down here to be the target. So uh, two gelatin, a uh, cherry, and a uh, candy. So I've almost got that too. So if I can get some candy next turn, I could bottle another good. Although my opponent could as well. But again, they need cherries. They've got no cherries. So they're, I mean, I have to be checking for them too. But every time it's needed cherries, they haven't picked up any cherries for a while. Okay, let's see what Chefatron wants to do. Chefatron says, hi, move the right arm one step. Phew, I just barely beat them. Although they got a pretty nice payday too. So they're going to take all of this and they're going to spill chocolate everywhere. Oh, what a sweet mess. Except for here because of the force field. And then this slips over and then they store all this stuff. Now, 
Oh, they don't. They can't do it. They can't. They got the cherry, but they don't have the gel. Remember, I have to match all four of these. They only have to match the the, the two. So anyway, so they're going to do that. And now what else are they going to do? They always do the white thing. They want to. Oh, by the way, this should have slid over. Sorry about that. They've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so they can't make a top thing. Could they make a bottom thing? They've got two chocolate, but nope, they do not have two um, candy. They do not have three. They do not have two cream. Yeah, they can't make anything. And since they can't make anything, they uh, have a pout about it. But now they use their nasty deployment arm. They're stealing from me again. But this one's a little bit less painful. The, the last time they stole, they took one of my wilds. Now this one means I get to pick what they steal. Because again, I'm playing on hard. If I wasn't playing on hard, I would only do the white thing and not that thing. So what are they going to steal? Uh, I, I want to keep the gelatin and the cherries. I think I'll have them steal the crust. Yeah. All right. So they stole a crust. Fine. Do they have this? No, they do not. Their turn is over. It is my turn. And um, what are we going to do next? Oh, and uh, yeah, can they do a... No, they can't. So back to me. Okay. Uh, if I had prepared this sooner, I could get... But right, this, this is going to take a while, right? It was here or here? It was here. I think it's moved here. Oh, shoot. If I just put it in the wrong place, I apologize, folks. Uh, anyway, though, um, this is just to give you an idea of how the game plays. So I am up. So my hand... Oh, and by the way, Wait a minute, why is his hand over here? I was over here, right? I was over here. I don't know how that happened. Oh, meh, regardless. I was over here because I took that big thing. So, what do I want? Hey, there's a quadruple bowl here. So I should probably move to this space or this space and grab that quadruple. And I could store that pretty well. So, let's just go on ahead and get some more stuff. Although, i got to ask myself. Remember, I've got a coin. So I could do a double action now. So I could get some stuff and push this faster so it'll come out, because I'm in a hurry for this to finish. But that's ideally if I have multiple things in prep so I could push them all. Just pushing one kind of feels like a waste of a coin. I could come over here and get three things from one of the sideboards, and then if I use the coin, I could also make. So I would have um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things. That's enough to make a couple of dishes. If I come over here, pick up three things, and then using the coin, make two low-level dishes. So now I need to think for a little bit. Because can I pull two of these off or one of those off? And then you know get more stuff. Especially if I do these, don't forget, I get extra coins so I can speed things up. And right off the bat, I can see I can do this because I've got two, three. So I've got three um, gelatin. I've got one cherry. And then I would need something else and it could be the candy or, or whatever. So I've got that one done. And so that would be um, one, two, three, which means I'd have two. two so I'd, I'd still have another cherry and then, right? right it'd be one, two, three, four, five. Right. I'd rather do something that uses two of these things. Hmm. Well, I do not have triple chocolate. I, don't, I just don't have any chocolate at all. I don't have any wilds. So these are offline for me. I don't have any cream. Oh, and I don't have any wilds because if I too bad. If I had a wild, remember, that would be a double cream for me, which means I could do this one very easily. Uh, but anyway, I can do this one if I want to. Oh, but let's not forget, if I come over and use the coin, I've got one of these. So I've got those three or those three or those three. Although, I would have to take them and be able to store them. But i got plenty of storage. So it's not just these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's how I have 10. So I could do two of these things. So if I go for this one, that would be 1, 2, 3. And so I'd, all right, so I'd still have a cherry. Plus um, any of those three, would that let me do this, this, or this? It, can I get some chocolate? No, there's no chocolate. There is... No, again, the chocolate. There is a double cream. And I've got the crust. And then I need one other pair. Ugh, if there were a... Arr. All right, so I could do... Oh, oh, I could get the gelatin from here. Okay. Wow, there are a lot of options. And now this is definitely something to bear in mind with this game, folks. There are times when a player can do has a, has a lot to figure out. With eight recipes up here, being able to grab eight plus more stuff if you're using a double power, you can get some really crunchy turns in this game. All right, yeah. Even with any of these four. The thing is, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. No chocolate that I can pick up right now. So all of these are off limits because I have no wilds. Ugh! My kingdom for, for a bar of chocolate. So I can't do any of those. So this is really the only one I could do, even with all that stuff. But then if I look at the top stuff, which is worth more points, can I do this one? Can I get four of a kind? 
Uh, no, I can't get four cherries, and I can't do four gelatin because I would need a single gelatin, so I can't mix it with that. So I can't get the best one. But I could do this one, couldn't I? Because I've got, right off the bat, I've got two gelatin. I've got two cherry. I would just need three. So if I come over here, say that's one, two, three crust, right? So I could do that one. Um, yeah, it's the, it's, it's the reason I can do it is because it's the, hey, it's because, yeah, okay, this is supposed to be on the top. It's only five points. Um, but it would be a double thing, which means as soon as it comes out, it's an instant award. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to come here. I'm going to use my coin so I can do both of these actions. First, I'm going to pick one of the four sideboards and pick up a bunch of extras. And then it's going to be to bake only one thing, sadly, instead of two. So, which is the one that works best? I mean, I don't want to spend these if I don't have to, right? Right, 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 right. Hmm. Oh, hey, wait. I could do this one, too. Couldn't I? And that one's seven points instead of five. So this needs four of a kind. And if I come here, I've got one, two, three, four gelatin. I've got the two candy, and I've got the one crust. So that's not bad. But again, I am spending all of my stuff, so I don't have anything for a future turn. So this one, I'll still have a little bit more left over. I won't make as many points, but I think I'm going to go for this one instead. So okay, so first of all, what do I need? I've got this and this. And then I need three of a kind. And so... I could get the crust and I could have some cream. Or I could get the gelatin and have some cherry. There's no cream over here. Let's go for this one. So I'm going to take from this sidebar. Um, and I've got, I got, I had to be able to store them. Right? I was taking, right? So I haven't taken all this stuff yet, right? Um, I forget what it was. It was something like that. But anyway, I had enough room to store everything. So now I'm using everything for that and that. And then, um, right, so, oh, shoot. Right, so there's the two. No, I couldn't because it can't be three of a kind plus... Oh, no. I've made a terrible mistake, folks. All right, so it can't be the green and that. It can't be that. All right, and what was it? I think I think this is how we were. It can't be that one because I can't use gelatin here and here. No, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, I can still just use all of this stuff and then take, you know, two crusts. Yeah, so I'll, I'll come into this one instead. So I've collected the crust. I put the crust in the other thing. I put this over here, whatever. Um, although it does matter because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this cream. So I'll have left that cream there. So one, two plus the three crust means I have finished this. So in one action, I got a bunch of stuff and made a thing. Because remember, folks, this is, at the end of the day, a race. It wasn't peak efficiency. I would have liked to make two things instead of one. But I am getting stuff made. And you can see, I mean, my opponent has made four things now. And this is only going to be the second, the third thing I've made. So I claim this. And because it comes from the upper, I don't get another bonus like I do off the bottom ones, which is kind of a bummer. But it is worth more points. And, um, and it provides towards two. So if I put this here, it's going to come right out. And I won't get any kind of bonus. But I'll immediately make an award because there's two of these. So I'm just going to put it right here. Although, if I put it right here, I'll get a wild. And on my next turn, I can do this action, which means they both move forward. But no, I'm just going to put it right here because I want this as fast as possible because we're racing. ABR, always be racing. Um, right. So that was my turn. I did a double turn. And right. So now, I don't have any tools. I can't reserve anything. Everything slides over. This comes out. And now, can I do awards? Yes, I can. I've got a double of this type. So I will take... The first one of these, which is 10 points. Woohoo! And I'll flip this over to indicate it's an award winning uh, pastry. I will put it here. And now that means I, the other type I do here has to be a different type. And my reward is any one of these things in a coin. So I can bottle another good. I could get a tool. I could take three more. I could get three more things. Or I could get a coin and a wild, a special. Oh, that is a tough choice. Which one do I want? I. Th I think I want the coin of the wild. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. So I get a coin plus another coin. I remember the coins are supposed to be here. I keep forgetting to put them there. Uh, and a, uh, a wild. Right. Although he could steal the wild. I'm going to hope he doesn't. And I'll just put it right here. It'll be part of a four of a kind. It could be anything. Okay. So I have now made my first. Remember, we're racing. Uh, um, all right. And then at the end of my turn, hey, do I have all this? No, I do not. But I'm planning on it. Okay. Chefatron, show me what you got. Chefatron says, hey, move my um, other arm down one. So it wraps around, comes up here, grabs the uh, a quadruple 
Uh, Chefatron is very happy with that. So now, if Chefatron gets any more crusts in the future, since they already have three, instead they'll start getting... Um, I forget if it's... They either get coins or they get wilds. I'd have to look. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, uh, so Chefatron took from there. And so they spilled candy everywhere, including these new spaces I just emptied out. Now there's a quadruple there. All right. And then this flips. And so now, what else do you want to do? I want to make a lower one if I can. And if I can, I'm going to get a... Right. So do they have enough chocolate? No. Not for that one. Do they have enough gelatin? No, they cannot get three gelatin. So do they have enough cream? They have cream and they have a pear. And so they could do this one. And they have a wild chocolate and they do have... So they could do either of these two. Now, if they can, they want to avoid using their wilds. And they'd have to do it to make a cream here. And, okay, so they'd have to do it to make the chocolate. So they have to use their wild either way. So they can make either of these. The tiebreaker is it was the left arm, so they'll do the left one. So there they go. And they've, oh, they've made a second cake. All right, so it's that plus that for the cream. It's um, right. It's the chocolate. And then they need a pair. They've got a single and a triple. Again, their tiebreaker is they're coming from the left. Is this a left arm? So they'll take that. And they've just made their second cake. Oh, me, oh, my. Remember, folks, this is a race. And um, so that's four points. And uh, they get a coin, which is another point for them. And, uh, yeah, and then, and then while they're at it, they're going to go and, uh, because I'm playing on hard, they're going to get some side stuff. So, uh, they've got a, they've got three that would actually give them three. So again, they're coming from the left. So they're going to take these three and boom, they just got two cream and this would have been their fourth crust. So now I got to look it up because I do not remember. Do they get a coin or do they get a wild when they are too full? Right, uh, you know, uh, do, 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 where is this? Um, yep, there it is right there. It's a uh, wild ingredient. So they just got themselves a wild. That's what I thought it was. Okay, so they just cleared this area out. And now at the end of their turn, um, just like me, they check for awards. Hey, they've got two cakes. That's going to be an award-winning pair of cakes. And that is 10 points for getting the first cake award. And it was a two of the kind, so they could put it down here. And so that is um, 26 points for those. Yikes. Remember, folks, I am playing on hard. Okay, so that was it for them. And now we are back over to me. And um, this is, a, this is gonna, still going to take two turns to come out before I can get uh, my second award. Now, remember, if I do this, I could make it move and then make it move again. Remember, and I, see, I'm regretting now having put this all the way. I think I said at the time, I'm going to regret putting this all the way over here because it's taken forever to get out so I can get an award. Ah! Okay. So, but anyway, what am I going to do this turn? There are, there's a quadruple. I could grab this quadruple or this quadruple. Can't grab that. Um, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Well, I'd like to... Well, I mean, hey, be one point if I bottle something. So if I can pick up two greens and a purple and a red, is that available anywhere? No, it's not. Not quite as convenient. So I just need to start rebuilding. And remember, all these chocolates have been the bane of my existence. So I think I'm just going to come up here because I have to move one or two steps. Oh, and I'm going to do this. And it's going to be to grab all of these. A pair of chocolate and a pair of candy. Okay, fine. So that was my main action. I don't have a coin, so I can't do a bonus. Now at the end of my turn, I don't have a tool, so I can't reserve. This slides, and it still doesn't come out yet. It's got to go one more time. And then Chefatron says, hi. I'd like to move my right arm two steps. One, two, which brings it up here. And, oh, I guess that's what I'm going to take. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Hold on a second, folks. Before I forgot, cherry spilled. Ch -ch -ch cherry spill boom 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 and that it flipped and so they're coming here this is the best one and uh cream spill which is a uh, not quite so drank oh that's a lot of cream right there and then a cream there and they store these and um right so they oh and they're gonna steal from me again but uh first they decide hey can i make a green uh yes they probably can which means, oh my gosh, folks, the game is almost over. All right, so they've got three plus a wild plus two. They, oh, but they couldn't do it. They can't do that one because they don't have the chocolate. They only have the one wild. They can do four of a kind with this, though, can't they? Uh, no, they can't. So they got three and three. So they'd have to use this to make four, which means they could not use it to make the second cherry. 
They can do this one though, right? They've got crust, they've got the cream, but then they'd have to have a non-cream or crust, so they can't do that one either. Can they do this one? They've got the candy, they don't, right? They can't make any of them, which means, okay. Uh, oh, and by the way, why did I put that there? That was in the wrong place. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, so they're down here. Can they do any of these as a fallback? And if they can't, then they're gonna get a coin. So, um, they do not have enough chocolate. They do not have enough chocolate. They do not have enough green. They do have three of a kind. And then they have a candy and a wild for green. So, they can do this one. They're going to make this. Okay. So, there goes the candy. There goes the wild is the green. And they need three of a kind. And which arm was it? It was the left arm. So, they're going to take the three cream. And they're going to make that. And because they can't get a tool, they get another coin. And I will put all this stuff away. And, um, right, so that was them making a thing. And now they're going to take something from me. Again, because I'm playing on hard. What do I want to give up? <sighs> I don't know what this is until their turn is over. I'm not giving up that chocolate. I'm not giving up that candy because I'm looking at that one. So I guess that means I'll give up my cream. You're welcome. Uh, bot. And have they, do they have a green and a red? No, they don't. So they can't do that. And they've only got one, so they can't get their third award, which would trigger the end of the game, where we finish that round, and they were the first player. So as soon as they've triggered the uh, end of the game, I would get two more turns, and they would get one. So we're back to me. I can make this. I've got everything I need to make this right now. And... But it would just be a cake, so it won't give me any awards, but it will give me five points. This is going to come out. This is going to give me my second award at the end of this turn. And it's going to be giving me another one of these bonuses as well, which could uh, speed things up. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. So I could potentially make something up there too. So while I could go and grab some more stuff, time is running out. Always be baking. A, B, B. So I probably want to come over here and make something now. Fast. Because time is right. Oh, what was the new thing that came out? Um, oh, hey, it was an event. It was an event. So at the end of their turn, uh, this thing happened, which uh, is... Oh, oh, that's terrible. And I'm not complaining. Everybody gets a coin. For them, that's a point. For me, that's a lifesaver. Because that means I could do a double action this turn. Which means if I'm going to bake, I could get three more. So I'd go from having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to nine, ten, eleven. So, if I use this coin right now, I've got 11 goods, which means maybe I could get a couple of things baked. And I'd have to go into these slots, which means there's maybe not enough time for them to slide out, but that's a big question. I mean, I already know I have the chocolate, and well, remember, I want to do these if I can, because I get an extra coin as well, which if the game ends, for him is worth a point, for me it's a third of a point. Every leftover resource and tool you didn't use and coin you didn't use is a third of a point. So, if I'm going to bake... Right, there's no chocolate on the outer edge, but I've got two chocolate plus a wild. I've got the candy, and I've got... And, I, and I'd have something. So I could get this done to get another coin. And that, by the way, would be a cake. So could I get another cake so that I could get a, uh, a cake or... So could I do this one and this one? Nope, this one needs chocolate! Why is chocolate destroying me? I can't believe this. Oh, but hey, could I just get another one of these? Yes, because I have not done that type. So could I do this one? Right, what am I thinking? I'm thinking all my chocolate and some of the candy. Um, all right, so, right, plus the wild. So basically, making this would just leave me this left over, right? Because I'd use two chocolate plus the wild plus the candy. Oh, wait! Plus the candy plus the candy. Right. Oh, but it's only one candy, so I wouldn't even use the candy. And it would be you know, one of my other things. One of the other things is the wild. So this is just going to cost all of those. Right? Because I haven't ever bottled any chocolate, which I clearly could have. But it'll give me a coin and six points and another good that I could potentially use for my second thing that I bake. Except I just realized, folks, I am cheating. I don't get these goods until they slide out. I might have cheated earlier. Folks, always watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on. When I made this, if I got that good immediately, that was cheating. It should have waited till it slid out before I got that good. So I wouldn't get that good immediately. But I could still make this fairly cheap. Then, um, I could get two... Ah, these three of a kinds. They're killing me. Um, and... 
I still don't have any... I haven't used my power once. I should have done the other thing where cream was at least worth a wild. How have I not been... Oh, no. Oh, I do. This could be a double cream. Which means... Well, that's interesting. If I come from here, I get a cream plus a coin. So if I do this to get a cream and a coin, I would, between these two, would have three cream. But no, this one only wants one cream. But I'd have three cream, not four cream. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. But I could use this as two cream up there. And then, oh, there's no crust to grab because I've only got one crust. Oh my gosh, folks. This is where things get really complicated because I've got access to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 things. And I'm trying to figure out a way to use those 11 things to bake two of these things up here. And um, I would grind on this for quite a while, but I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea, I think, now of the game, including how the solo mode works and what those extra little uh, uh, modules do. And now, if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.